Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! And today we are here for a relaxing little side quest because I have been meaning to get some gardening done and get a little farm started over by Zomberry Village for quite a while now and we just haven't had the time and today is a beautiful afternoon. Look at that, the dogs are roaming in the like fields. We've got so many plants that need harvested and I figured why not today? Why not today, Siri? So today, we are actually going to pop over and try to get some fields started up there. I want to sort of um, flatten the terrain a little bit. I want to try to make it so that we can go put some fields of like wheat or soybean, the things that we need to grow a ton of, but I don't really want to take up our cute little garden. Like I would love if this could be cute little plants instead of wheat, but no, it's wheat. In fact, it's wheat that needs collected. So let's go ahead and harvest it up. Hello, little girl. And the girl's being a good pup pup. Stay nearby. All right. Whoops. I didn't need to smush that wheat. It wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. But yeah, I just kind of want to get the farm like prepared a little bit better. And let's just throw the seeds in there. Because I need more soybeans, especially. Since Darling and I are vegan, we eat a lot of soy. And I don't have access. Hello, Primrose. I don't have access to soy milk to turn into everything else yet, so I need to do that. There's my little wheat silo. There we go. Put my little wheat thing away. Alrighty, righty Hello, Primrose. I love how she just hangs out here. What do you have in your inventory, Primrose? Oh my goodness, so many things. That's a lot of dodo eggs, and we're almost out of sugar. Oh, and she has a vulture egg. That's fine. And peafowl eggs, sugar cane, spice leaves. She's like giggling. That's so cute. Lapis roses, eggs. Okay, a lot of quicksand. That's what I'm just I'm going to I'm going to casually I'm going to casually take these from you. Okay, and you have an arrow. Okay. All right, that's normal. That's totally normal. All right, let's just take all this. I'm going to need to make more room for all of these things. So many eggs. I don't even know what to do with all of these like random eggs that we keep collecting. It's kind of hilarious. Ooh, there's some random plants in here though. So let me get those out. I know where to put the plants at least. We'll put them in the plant sorting shed. Oh, and I need to put the arrows away. There is so much to do. There's so many different projects we could be working on today, but I'm going to really like dig in and try to focus and just get get at least one of our projects done. And today it's not going to be making a bow and arrow or a bow a bow. Here, darling. There we go. It's not going to be making a bow. It's going to be working on let's grab the hoe and a bucket to get water and i'm wondering hello lily girl and i'm wondering if we should just make another sprinkler to put out in the fields or if we should put down some water blocks and trees like we normally do i think we'll go ahead and put down water blocks but the sprinkler is so freaking you like useful Maybe we'll take the sprinkler, because he doesn't really need to do anything over here. So we'll start with the sprinkler, and we'll see what territory he can cover. Alright. Oh, and I love this! Isn't this just so cute? We've got the bamboo growing here. Oh, oh my gosh, and we've got a dog panicking in the water. Iris? Why are you like... Iris, I love you. Why are you completely 100% incapable let's take her over next to the dog bed of being okay being let loose hmm okay they still have plenty of food so i'm not worried about that poor iris she's just not very good at like taking care of herself when it comes to um survival near water all right so we're gathering up all of this bamboo let's see and hopefully the dogs can't escape over here and what we're going to do with all this bamboo is we can cut it down like that because it grows so quickly. Come back over here, throw it in the compost bin, and bada boom, bada bing, now we have more enriched soil on the way. So we're going to take the enriched soil with us so that we can kind of get the uh, soybean fields really going. And I think I need a shovel. I need to make a dishwasher so I can repair the shovels that we get. All right, I'm going to put the plants in here so that the plants know where they go. There we go. And close this. And do I have a normal shovel? I do, and it's about to break. Hmm. I'll keep an eye on that. Hopefully it won't. And let's grab a bucket. There is one bucket of water. And where'd all my other buckets go? 
Hello, pup pups. I love how they're just like staring at me. Oh, hey, then. All right, one second, and book it, and book it, and book it, and book it. There we go. And we're gonna put all these away, and we are making a soybean field today because that is the goal. With so many things we could do, and that's gonna be the goal for today. Hello, sweetie. All right, let's see. We need to find the soybeans. If I have some, I'm pretty sure I have some soybeans downstairs. And I just haven't done anything with them yet. So let's see. Leafy green goodness. And soybeans. There we go. And we're going to turn all these soybeans, every single one, into soybean seeds. Their fate has been decided. They're going to start. <laughs> you're so adorable. Dang it, Nightlock. Get off the essence berries. He is so silly the way he always does that. But these soybeans' fate have been decided. We're going to go out here. And run up here. And so what we're going to do is we'll make another new path that kind of go. Ooh, what is this? Unsullied sticky rice. Ooh. Or unhold sticky rice. <laughs> Unsullied. Oh my gosh. It is pure. It is pure sticky rice for the, only the most delicious of sushi. All right. So we're going to make it so we can be like da-dun, 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 da-dun. And work our way up. Ooh, my gosh. What's this? Onion seeds. And from here, and I have one torch at least. Doink. Work our way up this little spot. And then I guess this could be kind of like decorative pieces. Work our way back down. Work our way over. And ta-da! This is the spot. This is the spot I want to clear out and build a little, like a little field in. It's nice and open to the elements. There we go. There's that cat grave that I need to do something about. I want to have a little, like, sheep farm down there at some point in the future. So let's just clear this all away. Let's not fall off. That's another important part of this idea is not to fall off the edges. All right, let's come over here. All right, there we go. What did all I pick up? Cabbage seeds, onion seeds, geishal greens. My goodness, there's quite a bit going on. All right, and I'm going to go ahead. There we go. We're going to try to, like, gently even out this land. There we are. Okay. So let's go ahead and just, like, even this land out. And then we're going to finally have... No, I'm going to have to replace all this. Darn bucket. Darn bucket, darn bucket. Well, that'll be a little bit annoying. Because it's not dirt, it's stone. But this is going to be so nice because then we'll have this nice little field and I can come over and we can harvest it up. We can bring the dogs with us so we don't miss any pieces. All right. Gently, gently, gently. And okay. Are we doing good? Doing good? Okay. Don't, don't plummet to our doom. No doom plummeting, please. And let's put away some of these seeds. We can put them in our seed sorting chamber later. Uh, oop, and we've got some potato seeds over here too. And now I need some dirt. And swap out for my diamond pickaxe. All right. And we can see the tree of illumination from here. I have missed having the tree of illumination as like a daily thing that we can just look at. Because it is so pretty. It really is. And it marks some of the most amazing adventures that we've been on in the past. Oh, look, 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 you guys. We got an ammonite shard. Ta-da. And it marks some amazing adventures that we've been on in the past in old zoo crafting episodes. It's fantastic. All right, let's fill this in. We are way overdue for having a reliable soybean farm. I mean, that's how I need to feed myself, myself and darling. All right, and out you go. I wonder, what do you think? Like, and keep coming in with the ideas because you guys have the most amazing ideas. So how do you think we should like light the area up? Um, maybe just torches? Or what do you think about how we should build over here? Should we make like a little... Ooh, actually, you know, guys, instead of doing crops over on this side, we should do a viewing pavilion over on this side. So you can just look out as the sun rises on how everything... Or the like sun rises and the moon rises on how beautiful it is over there. Also, we should get out our bed and take a quick snooze. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to put the bed down here. Can we take a quick snooze? 
been popped off, so I think we can sleep through the night before things start like spawning over here. Yay, we can! There we go. Let's continue to just rip up all this grass. Ooh, and there's some wild things. Okay, and this is going to be our little path. Oh, this is so exciting because it's going to be like, oh, and more, more unsullied sticky rice. <laughs> this is going to be where we will be working in the future. So this is going to be fun. I really think having like a little pavilion of some kind, maybe some pretty trees, and then like a nice little viewing pavilion. Here, have some seeds. There we go. And, oh, that'll just be really pretty. And then different kinds of fields over here. I think this is a good level to have the field at. Should I make it go down one more? Ooh, look, there's Jurassic Craft fossils. So there is water over here. So there's like a little lake. We could make like a teeny little lake. <gasps> that would be really pretty, actually. If I go ahead, see if I like pull it out a little bit. And then, let's see. How do I want to do this? To make it look like the water is just creating like a little natural waterfall. Do we have some? We do have some cobblestone. Watch and learn, my friends. So now we're going to just be like done to done, done. Okay, okay. And then like this. Okay, good. All right. Good, good. Okay. And like that. And then you come over here with the water bucket. And look at that. Now we have a pretty little waterfall. So all of a sudden, and we can like fill this up. I think we should fill this water in more. And that'll make a pretty little, pretty little waterfall, like a pretty little pond that we can have down here. I have no idea how I'm going to fill this in, but filling this in, raising it up a little bit. Eh, it should, it should, let's see, let's climb down here. Uh, what's, what's going on back here? Okay, okay. And then push that back there. Very nice, very nice. Move the buckets. So yeah, we'll fill this little pond in, and we'll have to give it like a cute little name of some kind. There we go. And I need more water, which is kind of funny because then I'm just going to turn around. Sorry, little roots. You know how much I love you. I'm just going to turn around and like collect more of its water and be like, so now I'm going to put you right here, put you right here, fill in your little pond, slowly but surely. So we'll work on the little pond as time goes on. Kind of fill it up a little bit more. Um, I think leave this here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Yeah, this will be fun. This will be fun. So we'll make a cute little path coming across here, and then I should probably start my soybean field. Should probably start it over here. In fact, I might even raise the ground up. Might raise the ground up a little bit. There we go. All right. Yay! Farming we go, a farming we go, a farming, farming, farming we go. I wonder if we should have geishal greens over here or maybe some orchard trees. Who knows? What should we add? We'll have to see what imagination and hunger dictate. Because I am very hungry. <laughs> and we don't have we don't have the foods that I need to eat. Because it's so funny when I try to go and make something and we're missing like just a couple things like cinnamon or tofu. And this will make it so we can have tons and tons of tofu. Or sugar. I really do need to spend a day. In fact, we're talking about doing a really fun event where we all work on making bee apiaries to celebrate International Bee Day, which I think is coming up very soon. All right. Progress! Progress has been made. And we know where to get more water for the buckets. But let's go ahead and I'm just going to figure out where to start with our soybeans and our enriched soil. So, let's see. I'm going to put down the sprinkler so that the soybeans don't fuss. Just going to kind of put it at the back right here for now. And turn it on. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead. How far is the reach on that sprinkler? Might put the sprinkler in the middle because it seems like a really powerful... Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how far that sprinkler reaches. That is one powerful little sprinkler. Oh my goodness. I love this thing. What a wonderful present Ben gave us. All right, so I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to pick it up. Oh my gosh, did I just throw I just I picked it up. Oh, I was like, did I just throw it off the edge of the cliff? No. All right, I'm going to jump on this one. Cuz I think he needs to be over just a little bit more. Yeah. To get that spot just right. Going to jump on this one. Maybe jump on those ones. 
because I want it to be able to walk down this path. So jump on these, turn them back into normal soil. There we go, there we go, there we go, okay. And then we come over here, and I'm finally going to have tofu! Finally going to have tofu to eat, and I'm actually really excited because I have wanted to start working on this side of the fields and kind of get some things going up on this, this little area for a long time. And now that we're over here, I'm kind of thinking it would be fun to maybe keep like a woodpecker or something over here. All right, come on, enriched soil. There we go. Soybeans! Woohoo! Just toss all the enriched soil down. There we go. And this is the yield from our compost. Woohoo! All right. And then gather that, gather this, gather this. And I'm going to have to turn some of them into seeds and I guess does it go off oh no he's he was just like minding his own business okay interesting and then I can do this I'm waiting for the grass to spread on the block he's sitting on so I can change it out all right and oh exactly right exactly enough perfect 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 look at that perfect just right so that we can have my little soybean field starting and that used up all of the oh good I have a little bit of bone meal over here well I can speed the growth along and it used up all the enriched soil we brought over so good Whew, now that we have that taken care of I should have some soybeans and some food on the way <gasps> like here all right so we're gonna take these little soybeans back and I will show you guys what happens once we get soybeans also I'm a little bit hungry let's grab some strawberry juice Maybe peek over at my children over in Zomberry Village, see how they're doing. Hopefully, all right. Let's see, in fact, can I get down here to them? Hopefully, like this. Oh, hello, Mr. Sheep Sheep. As usual, I could always use a little bit of your wool. I love how Primrose will actually chase the sheep down, shear them, and collect their wool. One day, I will give Primrose, or like one of her sisters, some sheep to take care of. All right, and the pecans. I really should make pralines for everybody. I have the ability to make the sugar. Look at all these guys jumping on everything. Mr. Cow, you're smushing the crops. You are smushing the crops. All right, let's see, gather up these pecans. Come to me, little pecans. Seems like all the villagers are doing okay. Oh, hello, hello, unnamed villager, how are you? Oh, you get bread. I think you were the baby we had last time. Yeah, everybody's running around, they seem all right. I can hear him talking. Hi guys! Oh, look at all of them. Precious. Precious little ones. But I'll show you guys what we do. So, Darling and I in real life are vegan and so we don't eat meat. Uh, and so what we do is we eat a lot of like tempeh and a lot of things made from soy and a lot of other like quinoa, a lot of other protein sources. Um, dun 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 dun! And one of the most important things, and Pam's Harvest Craft lets you do this, that you can do, is take some soybeans and turn it into soy milk or tofu or things like that. And I love that. So you see, we put our little soybeans in here and it creates soy milk. Yay! And I can now use soy milk as a replacement for basically all other types of milk in almost all the recipes, which is really, really useful. Look at all these things. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, you can make like a wasabi clincher. Was what, 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 wasabi quencher? Who's gonna just down a jar of wasabi? That is amazing. Prickly pear twister, oh my gosh. That is too fun, that is too fun. And you can make a milk bucket if you wanted, but see all of the cakes, all of the like waffles, all of the unknown mystery food that I have to dig through. Uh, pancakes, cornbread cheese, apricot things, minced pumpkin, cornflakes, chocolate milk, heavy cream, all of that can be made with the soy milk. Or we can take the soy milk and put it back in the presser. And from this mix, dun, 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 ta -da! you can get silken tofu. And silken tofu you can use in several of the recipes again for making like the red velvet cake or soups, like kind of as a replacement for creams and things like that. Very, very useful. So if we want to use it in soup or cream or to make like the butter and things like that, we have silken tofu. And if you want to take it one step further than that, you can put the tofu back in the presser again 
And this time it'll press down the silken tofu into ta -da, firm tofu, which is going to be your replacement for the meat dishes. For a lot of the meat dishes or like things that need eggs and things like that, like tacos, chico rolls, beet burgers. Beet burger sounds amazing actually. <laughs> So that is how you can make tofu! Ta-da! I'm gonna put it in the fridge for now. And it's gonna be very, very handy for me to be able to have a soybean field. So we got a little soybean field made. It's not a big one. We'll probably add quite a bit to it as time goes on, but I'm pleased with it. So, phew, finally! I have one of the tasks on our ever-expanding to-do list done! So that's so satisfying. Well, alright guys, I am going to go and get ready because we have a big day tomorrow, Zozo. We have a huge big day tomorrow, and I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.